let's pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and you know just learn from our mistakes and be better um, um, don't don't let uh, uh, the mistake uh, put you down A visit from guys from Karura Farm. They have come to check on the chickens. Uh, this is this is a part of uh, what they do uh, after sale service. What is a kuku? Wana kuja kuangalia how they are doing. Some una kuku zangu mekuja kuona how they are doing after New Zealand. Zina unga. Unga zima kula. Zina unga. Zina kuzina zina kula four kgs in the morning and four kgs in the evening. Acha na wewe. So umepata kazi cha maneza kukula. Zinapata kilo. So far so nimeendelea ji. So far so good. But not that good. What? Where am I failing? Chakula. Chakula. Hakuna. So far. No, no, I'll be there. Nguye ya siyakuri ya. Aturaji raji kia tereu. Una nembea nifanya nini? Akula wakaya nia. Kwa takiri kitu wedi? Hey, Ghani, I'm going to order. Alafu. Wow, Ghani, I'm going to order two pieces. Hmm. Then you order the new, you order the one I want. Hmm. The spinach, you order the new. Hmm. You order the baby round. Hmm. Just get ready to take it to Farah. We go to Farah. Farah, Farah, go get it. We go to Farah. We go to Farah. Hmm. Ah yeah. Kwaheri, Kwaheri, Konana, thank you for coming. To Anes Kuingine. Ah yeah. So for those of us who are planning to start chicken farm, small scale, just like me, um, a few factors that should be kept in mind. Um, and for me, what tops the list is passion, of course. Uh, so if you if you have passion, if you are ready to have uh, the stress of waking up wee hours of night and actually not sleeping when the chickens are in the brooder, um, if you have that nudging you that hey i am a chicken farmer that's the kind of passion we're talking about that you can go to the chicken coop grab a chicken by uh, by its feathers just check for the weight and the leader to come out if you would seek the signs of any illnesses you know kind of passion that you should have so if you have that that's one sign that you should start a small a, 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 a chicken business you don't have to start uh, uh start large you can start with one two i started with three chicken actually um and now i have what close to 100 100 birds here um and i have nine chicks that have hatched uh, the others are, are just acquired from karura farm you know so passion 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 tops number one um yeah so secondly um I would, I would go with, um, you know, just do your research. Know how much it will cost to rear these birds. If you're keeping birds for eggs, or if you're keeping birds uh, for meat, just know how much it will cost uh, tentatively to have these birds, um, you know, the full cycle when they stay with you. So for me, I know these birds will, will spend, what, six months without me getting anything. Um, no egg, so probably in the seventh month I start getting like 10 eggs, 15 eggs, a tray, two trays, then I can now buy uh, feeds with, with the money and uh, the excess money can now be uh, used to recover what I spent in the first six months. Um, yeah, so do your research and know if this is the kind of business that I want to get into. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, thirdly, you know, just choose a location. Uh, no where you want to keep your birds. If you have a, 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 plot, of, a plot of land, just segregate a, a portion for that if you're in deep litter like me. Uh, but of course, if you're, you're choosing free range, you must have a big land uh, uh, and you know, pasture on it so that the chickens can, you can keep on rotating them 
Um, yeah, just just like what uh, uh, Justin Rose, one of one of the big, biggest mentors I have, uh, Justin Rose does it uh, on his show. Um, yeah, so you also need to know which parts you want to keep. So do you want to keep birds for meat or do you want to keep birds for uh, uh, for eggs? You know, eventually uh, even the birds for eggs, after two years after they they're done with, with the laying, they they are sold off as X layers, which again. Is, is a good thing because that's why I like um, uh, laying eggs because they give me eggs and at the end of the uh, at the end of their of, the, of their period they will give me money in terms of um, um, selling them out as meat. Yeah, so you should know which kind of bird that you want to rear. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so thirdly, you should identify where to buy these um, uh, these birds and um, also the the equipments that you need in the chicken coop. So you're talking about the drinkers, you're talking about the feeders, we're talking about the chicks themselves. Um, identify where to buy the chicks. Uh, not all suppliers of chicks are trusted. For me, I trust uh, Karura Farm because they've done this, they've done this uh, for, for, for quite some time and I actually got the referral from someone. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> so you need to know where to get these equipments. Um, you know, most of them are the equipments are readily available even in the shops. Uh, in the village, you'll find shops, hardware, especially uh, selling this these equipments. And most of the equipments actually can develop them from from, uh, from scratch for yourself. Like the drinkers, you can have a jerry can and just cut it two times. Um, have another jerry can on top and become a drinker automatic. Uh, for the feeders, you can have scrap. Um, scrap pipes and just create holes um, lay them down and just uh, feed your chicks with you know if, uh, but if you have if you have money you can acquire uh, this uh, this equipment from hardware uh, you can have automatic drinkers if you have the money but yeah from a small scale farmer like me just start small start with two equipment with four ten chicks you know just go on, go on uh, growing as as, as as your chicks also grow um, yeah, you also need resources guys, you also need money, so uh, money is not the most important thing, but it is important, you know, so you need money to purchase the feeds, you need money to uh, purchase the chickens and the equipment, um, you need money to, <coughs> you know, buy the water that uh, uh, the chicks are using, to pay electricity, uh, to buy litter, you know, so um, resources are, are available, you can, you, can, um, you can get this from your friends, your family, but don't take a loan. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this out loud. I don't want my, my banker to hear. But taking a loan to start a farm, I think, is, is the start starting of failure. So, uh, yeah, I think if you have the money, start small. Get your savings, get from friends, and start small as you as you, as you, as you extend to, 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 to make farms. Um, yeah, so that's location. Um, you must have the passion. Passion for me always wins. Uh, the resources, um, you need to know where to buy the chicks and the equipment. Um, and also you need to know where to buy the feeds. Do your research, get to know which feeds work with what kind of birds. So for me, um, I did my research and I learned that Milela feeds um, actually is the best feed for laying birds. And as you can see as a testament, I've just um, had these chicks for what? Um, one month, one month and a few weeks. And you can see the kind of improvement I've, I've, I've gotten from uh, from uh, from Manila feeds. Feeding them only on eight kgs per day. That's four kgs in the evening and four kgs in the uh, in the morning. Yeah. So you must know your feed. Do your research uh, about the feeds and which feeds work for which birds. Um, yeah. So I think that's just about it, guys. Um, but for me, what tops tops it all is passion. Passion 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 wins the day for me um yeah so i have seen progress today uh, it was a fantastic day an amazing day uh, with one mortality which just breaks my heart all the time i, I, I just um, uh, remember it um and we have had a successful day to eat we have seen the farm we have seen the chicks we have seen the, the chicken make sure you don't get it wrong on the chicks you need to buy quality chicks you need to have quality feed and just buy it with quality feed. Uh, you also need to be uh, consider hygiene. You know, you need to make sure that uh, the chicken coop is um, is clean. Uh, I did a, a video last time uh, showing how you make sure that uh, after two days you just turn the litter up 
I just mix it up uh, so to avoid caking uh, and to make sure that the, the litter is not uh, wet. You know, at the top it might be wet, at the bottom is dry. So health, at the end of the day, um, will, will lead to successful uh, bad rearing. You know, just washing the drinkers every day. For me, I wash the drinkers every day. I make sure that I, I um, the troughs, the feeding troughs, sorry, is some chicken who is disturbing here. So I make sure that the feeding troughs are also clean, um, the drinkers are also clean. Um, I make sure that I turn every, after two days, I turn the litter. And I change the litter every month. You also need to take care of marketing. Just know where you're going to, to take the, the produce once it's there. If it's broilers, you need to know where you, you, you're going to sell the meat. If it's layers, you need to know where you're going to, uh, to sell the eggs and eventually sell the meat. Yeah, so do your research, guys. Don't dive in without knowing. But, um, you know, if it's... Um, if you have a passion, I'm pretty much sure everything else will fall in place. And the backbone of everything is you do a lot of research. Do your research, uh, you know, go to the expert. I remember um, Abraham Lincoln said, um, you never go wrong if you consult the experts. So just talk to people, do your research on, on the internet, just speak to the, to the people who are, who are already um, uh, you know, bringing up these birds and, and, and you know, keeping them for money or for eggs, ask them, how did you start? How did you start and how, did, how, uh, how come you're, you're this far? So for me, I'm, I'm still young, but uh, quite young in the farm, as you can see. But those are the things I did. Research, um, I researched on feeds, I researched on uh, the best chicks to have. I researched on uh, how to make my business successful. You know, I researched how to reduce mortality rate, how to reduce illnesses. You know, and a lot of people that I that I learned from uh, um, online. I have to give it up to um, someone called Daniel from Uganda doing a very nice work with farm up. Also, Justin Rhodes, who is a permaculture a farmer and uh, an amazing, amazing mentor of mine. Um, Justin Rhodes uh, from the Justin Rhodes Show. Amazing, amazing folks to learn from. Um, yeah, so a lot of research and also just um, you know making sure that you have the passion uh, to start that business um, yeah so that concludes our show today I hope you liked it and um, you know for those uh, for those of us who are here just hit the subscribe button and if you, you, have, you have not yet subscribed uh, to our channel um, let's let's subscribe I'm gonna have to run in